everybody. She has welcomed you to the Rose Harbor Inn in Cedar Cove <laughs> for many, many years. And today we are welcoming her into our home and into our kitchen to make tomato, egg, and prosciutto tarts from her brand new cookbook, Debbie May Cumber's Table. Please say hello to Debbie. Debbie, welcome back. So happy to have you here. Yeah. I cannot wait to eat. And also joining us at the counter, our very good friend, Dr. Nita Landry. Yeah. We're going to be speaking with you, Dr. Nita, about some, some big issues like allergies. Oh. Oh. And just a little I can't bit. Wait. I can't but wait. But first, we are going to eat. So, Debbie, first of all, I love your name. I, <laughs> I, I love your name. Thank you. It's D squared in the kitchen today. Your book, the inscription in your book, is so beautiful. It says, to my mother, Rose Connie Adler, who shared her love of food and cooking with me. So I would usually say, what's the inspiration behind your book? But obviously, it's your mom. It's my mom. When uh, In our family... Food is more than food. It's, yeah. it's heritage. It's <clears throat> gratitude. It's fun. It's cooking in the kitchen. Mom and I spent so many conversations about food. I talked to her every single day, mm. and every conversation involved food. When we were planning <clears throat> Thanksgiving, uh, it, it would take us weeks to decide on the side <laughs> dishes, and they were like government secrets. <laughs> <laughs> the two you're trading your government secrets. See, they are. In fact, I have a few of my mother's government, government secrets? secrets. This yeah. is her recipe box. What? Oh, how wonderful. Yes, yeah, so that is from the 1940s. Yeah, it's right. right yeah. Hold on, is this okay to show on national television? Well, <laughs> is there anything in here that is top secret? Let's see. These are how you kept it so nice. Oh my oh, God. look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. A tomato juice cocktail. I pulled the right card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is yours over this here is as well. Mine from when I was in high school. That is in high school? In high school. High school. Yeah. When they had home ed classes, yes. Oh, Debbie, wow. that's so yeah. lovely. They do, they keep, do they keep recipe boxes like that anymore? I don't or is know. it all like they a They sell them. I mean, but, but, is it, but is what people do. They're it's binders usually, mostly. Well, yeah, 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 and Debbie and I were speaking about this, how you know, unfortunately, if you don't keep them this nicely, they end up lost. So yeah. she too has put all her family's recipes together and did the Adler family cookbook. Is that yeah, what you call it? Called? Yeah. Adler food. Adler oh. food. That's so funny. So was this Adler food or Maycumber food? This is Maycumber. Okay. Food. Oh, well, all right. So tell us how to make this. Well, this is so easy, and it's you look so good when you know you look like you've slaved in the kitchen and and you really haven't. This is a puff pastry, and you just take an egg wash and you egg wash it, and then you put the so just any puff pastry from the grocery store. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's usually in the freezer department. Sure. Mm. And then you just add a little bit of cheese. And I used mozzarella, but the I uh, hear you mm -hmm. use Fontana. Oh, yes, uh, yes, Fontina. Fontina, Fontina oh, cheese. Fontina. And then the um, prosciutto. And then you just put these little cherry tomatoes on it's there. Beautiful. And they're so pretty with the colors and everything. And then you bake it okay. for about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's I, have it. A, I have a question. It's, it's sort of recessed. Do you cut anything out of the middle, or that's just the way it cooks up? No, you actually kind of uh, squeeze it up around the edge okay. and you cook it. Okay. Okay. Cook it. So then we pop that in for 20 minutes? Yes. Yeah, so but we then we're not done there. Then. Right. We take it out right. and we have another step. Yes, because we're going to bake an egg on it. And that just mm. makes it so yummy. That mm. yolk. And you're going you're gonna to put an egg. Oh, my God. Okay. Just like this? Just like this. Not going to ruin it? Yeah. And the presentation's really fancy. Too. Yeah. Yes. Right. So you look like it. So we're going to put this in the oven. Okay. I don't know if I should eat it with my hands or a fork and knife. I just want to pick it up and eat it. And how long do we put this back in the oven for? Oh, about between 9 and 11 minutes, okay. just until the egg white gets firm. Now, through the magic of home and family, <laughs> we have the... Lord! That's okay. That's beautiful, Debbie. And you're yeah. right, it's quick, but it, it really has a powerful punch when you're looking at this. Yeah, it looks so, so fancy. It's so good. Mm -hmm. no, it's so this good. is just one of the many beautiful recipes in your cookbook. I would love to show our viewers some of the other beautiful recipes you have. Let's take a look at your beautiful cookbook. There it is. What is that we're looking at? That is muffin tin donuts. Mm. Ooh, donut donut. Donut. Oh, donut. Yeah. Oh, wow. I want some they more. are so yummy. So yummy. Mm. Okay, Adler potato salad. My dad loved potato salad. And... Every breakfast was potato salad. Breakfast? Yes, mm. breakfast. Oh, my goodness. And that's your um, cookie in a sheet. Oh, I Skillet love cookie. it. Oh, oh, do you have a mama. special cookie recipe? It's Is it top the, secret? Top secret. I'm sorry. It's in there. It's in I there. think it's I know where I can find it, Debbie. <laughs> I, Debbie, a question, okay? Sure, sure. I have a belief. I believe there are two types of people in this world, oh. okay? <laughs> there are morning people 
and then people I don't like. Okay. <laughs> so, I, what are you a morning person? Absolutely. There you go. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. I've heard two kinds of people in my world too. People who get up in the morning and they say, "Good morning, God," and those that say, "Good God, morning." Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why do you love morning so much? What, you what? know, I, I'm my grandparents are farmers. And yeah. I have that early morning happy gene. Mm -hmm. When Wayne and I were first married, he used to say, do you have to wake up so bright in the morning? <laughs> 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 so it's my alone time. I get up early. I, I sit at the kitchen table and watch the sun come up. Oh, and I read my Bible. I read my devotionals. I've oh, kept lovely. journals my entire life. In fact, hmm. you know, I've been published 35 years. But my first sale came when my brother and two of my cousins made copies of my diary and sold it to the boys <gasps> in my class. Really? Oh, my <laughs> No. Wait a minute. Okay. What? That was oh your God. first sale. That was. Did we make any money over that? <laughs> Not me. My brother. <laughs> I think he owes you some commission. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That oh was my crazy. Very bold. Oh. oh. How dare he? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was offensive uh, as a girl. Can you imagine? Well, it was devastating. Oh. It was traumatic. But wait, that's really just traumatic. right. Yeah, it yeah. was. But now I just think about how well it sold. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Even then, you knew that. you were going to become an author. That's it. But is, yeah. that, is, there, is that sort of the rationale behind the, the food and the breakfast situation at, for Cedar Cove? Like, it seemed like everybody was gathering around food. They did. The, when I wrote the series, the inn series that involves the inn at Cedar Cove or in at Harbor mm -hmm. Cove, it, um, it was different people coming for different reasons to stay at this bed and breakfast. Yeah. And I had to find a way to bring them together, and it was breakfast. Mm -hmm. oh. And so they could share their stories with each other. It's always well, if the, it's, it's always beginnings. And if the breakfast is this good, they're never leaving the inn, right? <laughs> because it is really good, it's Debbie. So good. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So much, Debbie. By the so way, welcome. you can follow Debbie on Instagram uh, at Debbie Maycumber. Uh, this recipe is available right now on our website, um, hallmarkchannel.com. Got to get up right and early to get it, though.